So most of you guys know that night vision works in the near IR spectrum with different response curves for Gallium arsenide tubes that you see in the US, such as Elbit or L3, and hybrid multi alkali tubes that you see internationally, such as the one from Photonis. So they see light a little bit differently in layman's terms. So here I have a strobe that works closer in the near IR spectrum to visible light. If I turn this guy on over here, pretty much every single night vision device and night vision camera can see this guy. Now, the downside to using a strobe like this is that because it's pretty close to the visible light spectrum, you actually get a little bit of red glow that you see from the emitters on this version of this strobe. But again, it works with everything. Now, if you're using a photonist tube or a tube that can see out of band, you might want to consider a different version of this strobe. This one is approaching what's called the short wave infrared spectrum or SWIR, and photonist tubes can actually see a bit of a wider part of that IR spectrum versus gallium arsenide tubes. So this guy shows up with photonist tubes, but if I were recording this with a gallium arsenide tube, this would appear super dim as if you were looking at a near IR illuminator with the naked eye. Now there's an additional level up from this that's pretty specialized and we got a request for these units, but that's going to be a full SWIR illuminator. And these actually are going to require a bit more specialized imaging equipment to see, even with something with a super wide spectral response curve, such as a digital night vision camera like this Aurora over here, these don't really appear at all. Now to see this with a night vision device, they actually have a clip-on imager for this called an e cosi not an e cotti an e cosi that allows you to see way beyond the standard range for most night vision devices. Now, Nick Chen has a really great article about that, so you guys can go check that out at one of his blogs, but this is a very, very specialized device, and most night vision devices can't see it. If you're using a photonis or an equivalent hybrid multi-alkali tube, then for lower visibility, you might want to consider a 1064 nanometer illuminator. And then for all devices, just the standard strobe works perfectly fine although very bright and a little bit more visible because it is closer to the visible light spectrum.